autumn fashion trends of 2023. My take on those fall of fashion trends for 2023 is that I can incorporate into my wardrobe what will I wear. This is a long list of fall fashion trends 2023, a long list. Let's start with the sheer or mesh trend. On the face of it, that's one I'm not really going to go for. On the face of it, why do I want to reveal my bits and pieces out there? I really don't, and people out there don't want to see my bits and pieces, I can tell you. But I've got a few bits in my wardrobe, bits, a few uh, pieces, not bits and pieces. I have got a few items, clothing items, pieces in my wardrobe that are on the mesh side of things. So I wouldn't go out and buy it new now, but if it's in my wardrobe, I'll think of a way to wear it without revealing myself. And it might be that you're thinking that actually you quite like what I'm showing you. But my advice would be get it if you can think of other ways of wearing it. Because sheer and mesh is going to be around for a couple of years. But, you know, at our age, we're not going to use it a lot. But it could be a little token item, couldn't it? So I thought that my French dress that has some flowers on it. Now, flowers, also roses are a thing. And pink as well. So this dress hits three trends it's got the mesh it's sheer but it has a layer underneath it it has some pink and it has some flowers that you could say are roses as well but possibly not you know I, but i could get away with that being roses and the way i would wear this in the autumn because you know me i'm feminine sometimes and sometimes i really just want to be a bit grungy so if you're a sort of grungy type person, a way of wearing this dress in the autumn might be just pop on a leather jacket, which is another trend, and some black leather boots, which also is another trend. So there you've got three in one, you're covering yourself up and you're looking quite kind of trendy and modern really in this sort of unexpected combination, which is another trend for, for fashion in 2023 is wearing the unexpected and we're going to see more of this going into 2024 as well and the winter of 2023 the unexpected and the way the unexpected is currently being worn and shown in the shops and shown um in magazines is your summer dress with some boots which might seem impractical because it is actually impractical because if you're wearing a summer dress why do you want to actually be sweating in boots but if the weather's temperate and you wanted to wear your summer dress with some boots do it. This is the year to do it. It's that unexpected look. So this is what I'm doing here with my mesh dress. But another way I might wear mesh is to have a little mesh jacket. So another trend is those rib vests that we're seeing quite a lot around. Now, you know, I've got one on here um, that's new. I'm also trying on a white one here that I just got from Cos. And these vests are quite skinny. They're a bit revealing, a bit tight. That's the design. That's the way they're meant to be. And it might just be just a bit too much for us. And uh, I thought my little mesh jacket would be ideal because one, I've got mesh. Two, it's covering up my uh, ribbed vest, but also showing enough of the vest to show that I'm actually wearing something that's an on-trend item. Plus, my little mesh jacket has got a hood. So I'm hitting a lot of boxes again here. Added some wide leg jeans. That's another box I've ticked. And some white trainers. That's another box I've ticked. This is, from my wardrobe, a perfect on-trend outfit that me, as a woman over 50, can wear in the fall of 2023. And I know I'm English. I say fall because a lot of the search engines are looking for its fall 2023, rather awesome 2023, that actually gets picked up in search engines. So, excuse me, I'm... Yeah, for the sake of the algorithm... Alternatively, you could just share my video like mad and Adam wouldn't have to worry about search engines and algorithms. Now, with this uh, look, it might also be that the mesh jacket is actually just a little bit too much. It's a little bit too avant-garde. Is that the right word? I think so. Um, but pop over a leather jacket over the top. And I've just got this jacket from Jacket Maker. Now, they actually will make jackets to, to measure as well. So you can actually, you know, I'll link it down below anyway. But um, a leather jacket over the top hides a lot of that mesh thing but you're showing a token bit of the mesh you're taking a showing a token bit of the hood as well and uh you're taking showing a token bit of your ribbed vest underneath it all perfect next on the list is hoodies if you've got hoodies now's the time to wear them to wear them out and about you know you aren't going to look out of date if you're wearing a hoodie another one we can use our wardrobe for is all black or all white or a mix of both they're both 
that all three of those are going to be uh, trending this autumn and the winter as well of 2023-2024. Now, on the jewellery front, I'm, I'm not ready yet for statement necklaces. I'm still very happy with my delicate with my delicate uh, necklaces and I feel they suit my body shape they suit my age that if I was to start wearing the big bold bits and pieces that are starting to emerge the big beads and so on I will look like I'm just raiding my wardrobe from years ago and not look current so yeah still for me it is my delicate necklaces and I tend to wear my like I'll put it on and wear it for six weeks you know wash sleep in it shower in it and so on it's just so easy and today's sponsor is Anna Luisa jewelry who are a brand from New York so an American made jewelry sustainable eco-friendly and um, I can say I've had this necklace for about two years and it has gone through periods of where it's actually lived on me and it's still as you know like new it's still being sold as well this is um called the willow necklace too but this time they have sent me a new bracelet and this did come with some extra links as well which I haven't needed because I've got a very small wrist and that is perfect because it's not going to fall off me I have so much because I'm petite I have so much trouble with bracelets just falling off me and um, that's great but if you've got a bigger wrist they do send extra links with it so uh, in in the packs you can just take it along to a watchmaker and um or a jeweler who will actually put the links in for you but yeah very easy just clasps clasp at the back you just undo to slip it on and then um you know do it up we don't even need one of those things to you know chase the worm type thing at all i, I just did this all my all on my own <laughs> no help required to put that bracelet on one of the trends we're going to see that is emerging that we can wear jewellery wise is a statement earrings so look out for those but Anna Luisa has sent me some here these are called the Sloan and they they have got a kind of a, a cross on them but an irregular cross which I, I love irregular things asymmetrical things um, and that to me is a statement earring that is not 1980s it's not the, the throwback you know to what we were wearing then and uh, there we go, you know, something like that. The other earring is the ash double. You can actually take this off and just have it as a as a, a single ring or have that as a stangly. But again, that is a, a statement earring to my mind that we can wear. Earrings, double. They're examples of what we're going to see as in the form of earrings over the coming season, over fall and autumn 2023 and going into winter and possibly next year as well actually because once the trend starts it's going to get bigger and it's going to last for a few years now i wouldn't necessarily wear the earrings with the necklace because the necklace this is this is a statement on its own it's a delicate statement a necklace like this this willow because as a fact it's, it's um it's a layered comes as a layered single piece of layered necklace so I wouldn't wear the two together i would want just a simple little chain but what i might do say with a high neck like this is just tuck tuck the necklace in there and just have a little bit showing here I quite like that look you know just casually just a little bit of, a bit showing here at the neck just above your neckline you know just above your collar I think that's chic but what I would do then with a statement earring is still use a statement bracelet or any bracelet but I would be happy wearing a statement bracelet with earrings because you've got the space you know you, the space between your earrings and your your arm your arm's not up here is it so um that that's how I kind of feel comfortable with that sort of balance. Anna Luisa are offering you a discount, 20% off using my code AnnieFashion20. And uh, in the US, it's got free shipping as well, of course. Overseas, so that includes the UK, it's affordable shipping. And the designs are long lasting, <laughs> given my experience with my necklace, and also uh, affordable, starting at $39 before at the discount. So, you know, affordable pricing. The other jewellery trend, though, we, we are starting to see that we could get on the back of. There's this type of thing, cord necklaces. So if you have got those in your house and you haven't worn them for a while and you've got them around, now's the time to get them out because they're back on trend. And there's an emerging trend you can get on the back of now. 
Do one step ahead with that one. And I don't see that as big, bold, chunky and dated. You know, I think that we can actually get away with something like that. What I would say, though, is that you don't want a statement earring with a statement necklace like that. You know, these, these mini huggies from Anna Louise would be ideal. If you've got a silver toned um, cord necklace or then this, with, for a gold tone, you've got the San and you've got a really solid, typical stud in the um in the tiara mini a trend that is going to be around that actually lends itself towards stamen earrings is the power dressing trend and i remember in the 1980s that power dressing that we were very much into as we were building our careers earrings were a big part of that statement earrings do you remember the big bold statement earrings so when you're looking at anna louisa bear in mind that actually this really does you know statement earrings they're going to lend themselves to the power dressing trend, but they're not quite as big and bold and statementy as the 1980s. This is statement, but subtle. And before we go any further, I do want to point out that I know some of you are watching me on the TV to subscribe, and I'd love you to subscribe because I want to get to that silver play button. So if you're just watching this and you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe because it will help me get to that silver play button. QR code. If you're, if you're on the TV, just scan the QR code. I'll come up on your phone and you can just subscribe. Denim is a big trend this year, of course. <laughs> we love our denim, but denim with denim. and But we're not talking about skinny jeans. Skinny jeans, really, if you've got them, keep them to wear for with welly boots. They're great with that. That's the only way I wear my skinny jeans and I don't wear anything else with welly boots. It's skinny jeans because they tuck in nicely. But I'm not going to wear them with anything else. You can wear a slightly sort of halfway between a straight and a skinny, but certainly not a skinny jogging type and certainly not low rise. So I think we're probably all relieved about that. But yeah, you're going to look a bit dated in your skinny jeans if you're wearing them. So anything else really is going to go. You can wear your straight, you can wear loose, you can wear balloon, you can wear a uh, flared, you can wear boot cut. But really, it's predominantly going to be the, the straight and the loose. And I really actually am really liking a relaxed loose jean, especially with a pair of trainers or a pair of slides. And in the winter... What we're going to be doing is taking our cropped jeans or longer jeans and we're going to be turning them up if they're longer or wearing our cropped ones, but wearing them just above the boot. And this was around a few years back, but it's an opportunity to get those, those shorter jeans out and the ones that we wear in the summer, maybe as ankle grazers, get them out and wear them in the autumn over our boots, just above the boot, not hanging over the boot, just above the boot. So you need to just t turn it up so, so it's doing that. The other trend around is leather, which I just love as well, leather and pleather. But do you remember when you're buying pleather, it can peel. I mean, I've looked at this jacket here as I was, I, I was hanging it up earlier on. I noticed that actually around the collar, it's starting to peel. Admittedly, it's eight years old, so actually that's probably not bad. But a leather jacket, if you're not a vegetarian, a leather jacket, it's just going to go... I mean, I've, I've sold one recently similar to this in cream on Vinti that I had oh, good 25 years and it, I sold it as a vintage. So, um, and it was perfectly workable, perfectly great leather jacket, just a little bit big for me, which was why I, um, I sold it. And I thought, well, I've actually got better now. I've got jackets that fit me better. And this is a similar style, this blue one and being made to measure as well, actually does fit me really, really well. Um, so then, so we can wear our leather, we can pencil skirts, you know, leather pencil skirt. I bought a leather pencil skirt last year. It's the time to wear your leather and pleather trousers. If you've got those, get those out, especially if they're straight or slightly loose shape. Um, wear them with leather jackets, wear them with leather vests if they're around, you know, the button-up vests. We're going to see a lot of those button-up vests, which is something we can easily wear in the shops. You know, we can, we, we can, we can snap those up. It just, I'll be on the hunt for one that's not going to reveal your tummy at the bottom of the buttons and it doesn't come down too low that's what i'm looking for and was one that's nicely fitted that uh i can wear on its own but also could wear it later on in the year over t-shirts and over shirts and so on however well, you know people are going to be wearing them i do have a website where i uh, put items that you are loving and buying and buying from my videos and buying from my instagram on a weekly basis, also I'm updating it, so you'll always see items that are currently in the shop. So whenever you're watching this video, if you look at my website, you'll find some upstate items, and my website's here. Just scan it with your phone, there you go, there's a website. 
I mentioned power dressing earlier on. Power dressing is, yeah, that, the big shoulders, the big jackets, the defined waist as an hourglass, the, um, you know, the bold earrings. I'm kind of not going there. I don't really want things in the way of oversized. I just, I don't, don't want, the important thing is when we're over 50 and we're following fashion trends and we want to actually look current, we don't want to look like we're trying too hard. So it's got to be, oh, I've just thrown this on and, uh, yeah, but I'm looking current, you know, I was just throwing this on, this happens to be on wardrobe and I just shoved it all on and I put it together and I've gone out the door. It's got to look like that, not like, oh, I've just put on a tie because it's fashionable and I've got this really nice oversized jacket with big shoulders and it's current, so I'm going to look really fashionable. But actually, no, I, I would look silly. But what you can do to take advantage of the hourglass trend is go for those peplum blouses. Especially if you've got a tummy, you can go for the hourglass trend and you can show, you know, hide your tummy, un tummy under the peplum. They're going to be around, the peplum blouses. And if you can define your waist and you... You know, I've got the figures to be able to do that. Then the belts, just go for belts. That's not trying too hard. That's revealing your out the hourglass shape underneath, say, a trench coat or a camel coat hanging loose. Tucked in shirt, trousers, belt, hourglass. Not try too hard, just put it on. Talking about just putting it on, another trend, and I love this word, it's called normcore. And what normcore means is it's street style. But it's, it's what you'd wear. It's, it's shove on your jeans, shove on your trousers, shove on your skirt, shove on a, a shirt or a blouse or a t-shirt, shove on a blazer, trainers, boots, whatever the weather, and go out the door. Normcore. That is right up my street style. Which brings us on to layering, because it isn't layering in the autumn norm call, isn't it? Really, you know, that is normal. We are just going to layer and layer and layer and layer. And the more you layer, the more you layer, the more fashionable you're going to be. Just don't end up looking like a like a polar bear or an igloo, you know, or an onion. You, We don't want all these peeling layers, you know, like we become round like an onion. We don't want that. We're talking about round. <laughs> it's wonderful how all these things lead into each other. Circle skirts. I've got a skirt I bought from Marks and Spencer's oh, eight years or so ago and uh, I haven't worn it for the last couple of years because it's kind of just above my ankle and I felt it wasn't really current. It's a sick material for summer. But you know, this is perfect for autumn because it's a circle skirt, as in it's, it's quite wide and will come out in a circle if you twi twirl. Not a high up circle, you know, you're not going to reveal your knickers, but you know, it, it just... It's just a circle around you. And uh, it's pink on it as well. So uh, that's perfect. So out will come this circle skirt that is years old. Now, I didn't get rid of it because I I, li I liked it. I loved it. So anything, you know, that I don't get rid of my clothes that often. I do have a, I have major declutters every now and then. I've got declutter videos that you can watch. But I'll do a big declutter and it'll often be really old stuff. But I don't can't class eight years old. I don't don't know. That's not unless it was a fashion item like like um cold shoulder. That's definitely out, definitely out. They, they that's gone, that's gone. <laughs> so another circle skirt though that I've got is a black one that I uh, got recently from Estia. And this is a black trend. It looks perfect with pink, it's gonna look great with white. So two circle skirts are in my wardrobe and I will enjoy wearing those. There are two trends that are everywhere that you would be living under a rock if you didn't know about. One is the pink trend with a Barbie film coming out. Obviously that is everywhere. So um, pink, anything pink in your wardrobe that you've got is get it out, drag it out, wear it. It's your opportunity to wear pink while it lasts. There's also... The vest trend, this sort of tight ribbed top that maybe we wouldn't necessarily wear because it's going to reveal our arms or maybe we don't care. I'm one of those people that don't care. You know, I've got so an age and my arms are going to be wrinkly and I'm happy to have my arms on show. I have got this one that I have just bought and it is pink. So we, we there we go. You know, I've got a combination of those two trends wrapped up in, in one. So uh, I'm using, I've used this as you will have noticed throughout in some of the outfits as well because I can combine the pink I can combine the vest 
trend altogether in other outfits. Fluff. Yeah, I need to talk to you about fluff. See this? It's a slipper. This is for indoors. Yeah? Indoors. There's a reason why it's for indoors. Because if it goes outside in the wet, not only will I get cold, but it will start smelling like a flipping old carpet. But do you know what's around? Handbags that are fluffy. Can you imagine? So that I'm avoiding. No, I don't want to go around with a wet handbag that smells of old carpet. I don't want to do that. So I'm not doing that. Instead, well, what I've got is a lovely new bag from Mark Spencer's. And um, I've ordered, also ordered it in black, which I'm waiting for it to arrive. So I think there must have been a lot of demand for the black one. But it comes in olive too. And uh, I can list it down below for various countries. Next up on my list is quilted jackets. These green ones that have been around for a couple of years that end up looking like someone is wearing a parachute. So no, I'm not going there. I mean, you know, your your jewels jackets. I love the quilted jewels jackets. And so I'm looking forward to those coming out in the autumn. And there might be some sea salt ones as well. That, that kind of quilted jacket that's got some shape to it or a quilted vest that's got some shape to it. Yes, these big parachute looking things are a no for me. But talking about parachute, we're seeing parachute pants and parachute trousers, what's called parachute, actually, as a trend. Parachute trousers, parachute tops, tops and so on. Just make sure that, you know, when... Try it on and see, does it suit my figure? I've tried some parachute trousers on and they are just too... You know, I'm too short and squat for that, really. So uh, I would need to get a... Find a petite if I wanted them. And I, I don't, I'm not that fussed. I'm not fussed in parachute trousers. I'm, I've got some really wide cargo Charles, I'll be perfectly happy to wear with. Oh dear, they're camo. And camo is supposedly out. But do I mind? Not really. I'll wear them. I don't think when I'm going around town in my, my camo cargo pants, people are going to say, oh look, camo's out, she's wearing camo. I don't think so. I don't think anybody in my town's actually even going to know camo's out. So that's what I'm going to do. What else is current that I'm going to avoid? Tracksuit tops. You're going to see those in the shops. I'm not buying them. That, that also harks of trying too hard. But what I will wear, slip skirts, slip dresses. They're still around. I've got a slip skirt in black and I will wear that. So when I started the slip skirt, what I tried to do was then bring in the vest trend as well and bring in the pink trend. So using my new pink vest and the leather trend, so with a leather jacket over, I've actually put the whole lot together and some boots too. So... There we go. That, that's kind of an, an example of how the slip skirt could be updated for 2023 and that we can wear. And one of the trends that is around, and you might have seen it in the shops, and that is just juxtaposition, I'm, I'm going to call it. It's where, say, summer dresses are being styled with something that's sort of a winter item. And most commonly, it's winter boots. So incorporating that kind of a look here with the slip skirt, so this is a this is you know lots of trends all together here with the slip skirt, but the juxtaposition as well. So we've got the the boots with the skirt, with a vest, with a pink, with pink, with leather as well, all there as one modern look we could wear. But then also on that you know in the juxtaposition type of trend as well, I was using boots when I I showed the sort of flowery dress earlier as well. That was. That was an attempt on that kind of juxtaposition trend too. So it's a winter items combined with your, your summer summer dress. Anna Louisa are offering you a discount, 20% off using my code AnnieFashion20. Do remember to subscribe and also you will probably enjoy this video here on, you know, what we can be wearing 